Hey there everyone, I'm Dresden, and welcome back to another episode of Downhill Madness. <coughs> Today we're going to be doing three more vehicles, running them down the Stairway Mountain Rally Course to see how they do. We're starting off with the Ibishu Pessima Rally. I'm pretty sure this is the first actual rally car we've run in this entire series. Um, I've done some testing, the oil pan is a bit weak off of larger jumps, um, even though it has a skid plate. Other than that, I think we're okay. Yeah, there goes the oil pan. See? So, <coughs> other than that, I think this will do pretty okay. Uh, of course, oh, that was weird. What did the gearbox do that for? I'm driving an automatic, of course. I drive an automatic with all of them to eliminate the risk of my gear shifting being the reason that they go out. Um, but, of course, they always get three attempts to make it to the bottom. Um, I know this is a rally car on a rally course, but <coughs> rally car. Oh, we're out of oil. Starved of oil. Uh, engine is strong. It's powerful. This is all-wheel drive with probably an unlocked differential, I'd imagine. It's a rally car. Oh, it just over-revved. For some reason, the automatic gearbox decided to shift down. Um, <coughs> however, <coughs> suspension is very bouncy. Now that can be good for skilled rally drivers who know how to use that to their advantage. Dresden does not know how to use that to his advantage very well because he is not a skilled rally driver. So, yeah. Oh, we're rolling over. Oh, front left half shaft is broken. Completely disconnected. Now, I think our steering is still hooked up. Yes. Our steering is still, it feels like it's still hooked up. It's pulling to the right very strong though, so it might not be. No, it is. Oh, front left steering is... I think we lost our suspension in the front left. Um, <coughs> and our front right <coughs> is not connected to drive. So we're three-wheel drive with three wheels that have suspension, not the same wheel. There goes our induction system. That's no good. Now our airflow is going to be restricted, which will heat the engine up even faster. <coughs> We are making it. Oh, exhaust is gone. Now it's louder. I'm sure you guys heard that. Um, that's not good. It's okay. We're making it to the bottom. You would think this would get a better time. I'm not going to do a redemption round if it makes it, because it, it makes it. We'll, of course, have plenty of other rally cars. And again, as I say in most of the episodes, unless I forget, this is not fully a test of the car. This is a test of me driving the car of my driving and so even if the car is perfectly capable like this if I can't drive it well enough to be capable then it's not capable and for me driving most vehicles will not be capable then um no we actually do a pretty decent job driving which is surprising but we do um <coughs> also yes cough is still there uh that turn gets me a lot I know we don't really have steering exactly, but come on. Alright. Uh, oh, I think our steering is much worse. Something has happened to the steering, because I'm trying to turn left. It's turning right. Alright. No, I don't think this is going to work out. Yeah, I'm calling it here. <coughs> Tired of driving this one. <coughs> um, Alright, well, first attempt did not exactly go as planned. Um, we almost made it to the bottom, though, with some broken wheels. Hopefully the next one goes a little better. Alright, and attempt number two. Let's get that timer started. Oh, my voice just went away for a second. That was good. Um, Alright. Yeah, we're making it. We're making it. We're making it. Ooh. Oh, the engine, or the gearbox did the thing where it over revs, where it shifts down. It sounds weird. It sounds like a cat purring. It's very distant. Uh, we do still have our oil pan. That's where we lost the front wheel last time, I think, and we just lost it again. Maybe we didn't lose it. Maybe I can bend that back into place. Okay, well. This is not desirable. Yeah, that... That front wheel 
Oh, it's back. Wait a minute. We did get that front wheel back. That rear wheel is not very good looking. Uh oh, 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 uh oh. Okay. Now that front wheel's actually gone. Again. It's the same wheel. It's always that front right. I don't know why. I think I take that jump poorly. I think that's my, uh. The reason why this never works out for me. Yeah. This is not. Why are we in fifth gear going nine miles an hour? Speedometer on the bottom of the screen is more accurate than the one on the side. We are going five miles per hour right now. We're losing engine power, I think. Yeah, we're overheating. All right, attempt number two did not go as planned. It actually went a lot worse than the first attempt. All right, so final right. attempt for this vehicle. This is getting scary because this is the last attempt, and I don't want this to be our first DNF of the entire series. Is a rally car. Don't want that. Uh-oh. Not to a good start, though. But again, this is my driving and not the car's fault if we do end up going out. I'm going to drive it. Still pretty, you know, flooring it. Driving it well. <clears throat> Maybe not well. Driving it fast. Giving it a good chance to get a really good time. That's what I'm doing here. Um, <coughs> granted, it may not be the best of driving. However, you know what? That's okay. Because we're going to make it to the bottom of this attempt. We're going to. It's going to happen. Even though our car is very, very beaten up, that's my fault. It's my bad. I kind of funked up a turn there. I said funk. I said funk. Go back and listen to it. Go turn on closed captions. It says funk. Oh, induction system is damaged. <coughs> oh, oh. Trying to keep it on all four wheels, which obviously did not go well already. Um, trying to keep it on all four wheels, trying to take jumps kind of subtly. Keep it smooth over the jumps, keep it nice and crisp. We don't want to really, you know, damage it, do we? We want to keep a pristine car, as per what we have right now. Oil pan's gone. The oil pan is not very strong. Also, we did lose our induction earlier, I think. I feel like I said that, but I don't fully remember if it happened. So I said it again. We over-revved again. So something's up with the uh, gearbox in this, because we keep over-revving for absolutely no reason. Which is annoying, but it's whatever. Uh, Alright. We're making our way, though. Going 76 miles an hour. That's fast. That's fast for that straight away. Don't spin out. Come on. Okay, engine is starved of oil. We are going to start breaking down. That's not good. Uh, yeah, we have no we have no oil in the engine. Oh, we over revved again. Why does it do that? Stop that. Uh, our engine is orange. Oh, it's going away. I think that's just because we over revved. I don't think that's because of the oil. Stop shifting it down. <coughs> My gosh. This stupid gearbox in this thing. It's not even... I don't... Well, it might be a sequential gearboxed vehicle. Because it keeps just over-revving. For no no reason. It just shifts down when it shouldn't. Which is strange. My nose itched. Um, Which is weird. It shouldn't be doing that. Alright. Don't mess up this turn again. Good. Good driving. There's a rock there. Whew. Okay. <clears throat> Something's up with the steering. Oh, that rear left wheel is bad. <coughs> okay. We reduced the engine torque because we over revved. Stop over revving. You know how annoying that is? My pristine car. And across the line. I think that's a pretty good time. On our third attempt. I think that's a pretty good time. Our car's definitely beaten up. We rolled it. Um, I don't know why the back wheel's like that. Probably hit a bump wrong. That's okay. Um, steering still works. Finally, for once. Looks good. Maybe not good. It's drivable, though. So, it's a win in my book. Alright, on to the next vehicle. Alright, so this is the Dodge Ram TRX. 
Uh, it has a 6.2 liter Hemi V8 engine producing 702 horsepower. It's also very loud. Um, this mod has some weird visual glitch with the rear suspension. You'll see it on the rear left wheel. Um, I don't know if it does it on the rear right, but I know the rear left does it. Also, the, uh, the rear axle kind of shifts back and forth, which is not good. Um, it doesn't hinder performance too much, so we're going to run with it. There is also a Hennessy Mammoth 1000 version of this truck that Hennessy did a tune-up on that produces 1,000 horsepower. However, this is not that. This is the uh, 702 horsepower V8 TRX, not the Mammoth. But it's cool. 1,000 horsepower is also a lot of horsepower, but 702 horsepower is a lot of horsepower. Um, downside, if I land on the rear or front wheels wrong, they snap off very easily, which is not good for driving, because we need all four wheels. I don't know if this is rear wheel drive, I'm assuming it is, because I feel like I can put it in all wheel drive. I narrowly avoided that rock. I don't know if you saw that, but that was, that was skillful on the left side there. Um, 85 miles an hour. <laughs> is nothing to be ashamed of at all because that's fast especially for a truck on a rally course 85 miles an hour is very fast um, steering's in good nick still it's kinda easy to bend the steering on this as per all off-road vehicles the uh... the wheels are more exposed and they're larger so they're easier to bend and break but this one's actually handling all of this very well I'm able to go almost full throttle for most of this course, and it's fine, which is just great. It's awesome. Down the little hill, got this right-hander <coughs> with a cliff on the side. <coughs> Let's not fall off of it. I'm not worried about this right-hander, though. I'm worried about the next right-hand turn because I'm not good at taking it, obviously. I go off of it very often. It's my least favorite turn on this entire course. Um... This turns nice and fine. Little bump there, not gonna hurt us. Little another bump. Okay, this turn. My arch nemesis. I always take it way too fast. That was good. This is gonna be a really good time, guys. I don't know. This is probably the one of the most capable vehicles we've ran besides that track Fab Apache that's in first place. This might dethrone that though because this is good. The only thing is, uh, it's not good starting out acceleration. We made it. Uh, we're on our side. <coughs> but we did make it. I don't know if that was the first or second attempt. I don't remember. But I'm not going to flip it. We're going to leave it here. No, I'm going to flip it. Um, yeah, that rear wheel's a little bent, I think. Or the front wheel's bent. I can't tell. No, front wheel is bent. That's okay. We're at the bottom, so we don't need it to work anymore. It just does. Oh, bye tail light see you later all right let's get a let's get a good hit on this it's not every day you see a ram trx and beam and g drive and get to wreck it <coughs> let's get a good slow-mo going i haven't run into this wall for a while yeah boom Ooh. i don't know what the exhaust is doing hi birds yeah rear wheel drive because our rear drive shaft broke and it doesn't drive what you doing there, bird? Anyway, on to the final vehicle. I think this did pretty well. Very good time. I'm happy with it. Alright, and for our final vehicle of the episode, we have this. This is the Gavril Blue Buck Police Interceptor. Here to bust some crime and make it to the bottom of the hill. And I'm all out of crime. Um, I just came up with that. I hope you liked it. Uh, do we have lights? I don't remember what the light button is. I think I'm hitting it. I don't know. I don't I don't know. Um okay. My cursor's on the screen still. I don't like that. Go away. Okay. All right, let's go. It's got a big block in it. It should be pretty good. It's a very V8 based episode minus the first vehicle. So two V8s. Uh ooh, I like the little dongly antenna in the back. That's cool. This is not very fast. Okay. Well, it's fast. It's probably not very fast off-road. Um Definitely on the wrong tires. It's very slidey. It's like a drift missile. But it's a police car. <laughs> Not a drift missile. Silly goose. 
Um, whoa, front end heavy. Or we took that jump wrong. I'm going to say we took that jump wrong. Oh! Late on the braking. That's my bad. We broke the radiator. Yeah, I was a little late on the braking there. Okay, it's got a lot of power. <laughs> that was a lot of wheel spin. Oh, boy. All right. <coughs> oil pan's gone. I've had two out of three vehicles lose their oil pan. Ooh, oil's low already. Oh, that's a big gash in the oil pan then, because the oil went down fast. Also, we're starting to overheat. Also, that was a bad landing, and I wouldn't be surprised if that right front wheel is busted. Oh, okay. Rear right wheel is also busted. How good is that? I'm going to be playing with that guy, Venom, on Scrap Mechanic after I do this. That's Jonah. If you guys didn't know, there will be a video on that game on Friday on Scrap Mechanic. So stay tuned for that. We're going to do a co-op escape room. Should be pretty interesting. If it works, it should work. Oh, boy. All right. Well, we're upside down. Let's let it slide through a halt so I don't break it. Okay, or not. Oh, that's, that's my fault. Uh... I take full responsibility for that. Please don't be dragging. Okay, well, <coughs> top of the vehicle's not looking too hot. Um, that's okay, I guess. Uh, billowing out smoke. Our engine is overheating completely. It is in the red. That's not good. Uh-oh, 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 not this tree. Not the tree, not the tree. Okay. Uh, we pulled that back fender there a little uh this is just getting beaten up i don't think we're gonna make it back up this hill well maybe i don't know it's got the wrong tires for this now bad thing is this is putting a lot of stress on the engine that's overheating okay we made it cool let's continue first attempt <coughs> mainly because i have to get this video done soon um so we're going to hope it's the first attempt. Whee! Little jump. Uh, this won't be a very good time if we do make it to the bottom on this attempt. I'm sorry. Uh, this vehicle has more potential than I put in. Again, it's how I drive it and not the vehicle. If it was the vehicle, I would keep going over and over until I got the best time I think I could get, which would take a very long time. So, we're going to try and go fast. Um, but also make it perfectly. Fi perfectly fine. Yes. Um, in one piece, no problems whatsoever, not a scratch, you know, not a scratch on the vehicle. Why is the roof so floppy? You see that? See how floppy the roof of this is? It's not a cloth roof, it's metal. It's just very floppy. Okay, anyway, <coughs> let's do this. Let's get to the bottom. Uh-oh, 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 no, not this turn again. I hate that turn. I wish they got rid of it or put a guardrail up. We need a guardrail on this map, on that turn. Also, we need to help Dresden with his flipping car skills, because they're not too good. Alright, well, we flipped on that turn for a second time this episode. And I don't know if we're going to make it back up. This this ledge is so steep. Oh! Our engine's dead. Well, alright then. Uh, engine is locked up. We have no oil in the engine and it's overheated. So it's just all around just a bad day. Um, okay. Well, on to attempt number two. Hopefully this attempt goes a little bit better. All right. On to attempt number two for the police interceptor. Let's make this attempt count. Let's make this be the best attempt we could possibly have. Tire squeals aplenty at the beginning there. That was great. Overshoot that turn a little. That's all right. This will be good. This will be good. This will be a good run. I will need to turn down the pool strength. I forgot to do that. And uh, oil pan's already gone. This may not be good. Hopefully our engine doesn't lock up like it did last time. I think... Oh, oil's critically low. Yeah, whenever we damage the oil pan, it's like it shatters. Because there's all of a sudden just no oil in the engine. Just suddenly. Ooh, nice handbrake slide. I try to use the handbrake if I can. Doesn't usually work out very well, but I try to. Oh, okay, front right wheel's gonna be busted, radiator's broken, engine is starved of oil. Everything is going wrong. <coughs> These old vehicles, man, they 
I would say they don't make them like they used to, but if this is any, you know, any way to show how they used to make them, then they make them better than they used to. They don't look as good as they used to look. Well, okay, some of them do. Not all of them. Chevy Malibus used to be freaking awesome. Now they're just bleh. I'd still drive one, but they're bleh. Uh-oh, rock. Oh, I went over the rock. I think I might have lost a hubcap. Nope, still got my hubcaps. Oil's overheating. Engine is overheating as well. Not fully, but we are. We might be a soap co soapbox car in a bit. We don't have uh, interlock braking either, I don't think. Granted, it's an old car, <coughs> so that makes sense. Yeah, there's no ABS at all. Let's stay on the path here. Okay. So, my goal now... Make it to the bottom before the engine and oil overheats. Because if I can, that's good. I don't have to worry about it. If I can't, that's bad. And we have to do a third attempt. And this vehicle might be our first DNF. Judging by how it drives, it shouldn't be. Judging by how strong it is, it might be. Because the engine components are very... They seem to be very weak. Which is not what you want on the downhill madness track you know also that big oil rigs out there that's cool I've seen it before I just haven't acknowledged it all right head gaskets damaged we're gonna try not to use the engine as much we're gonna sort of coast if we have to I want to get down to the bottom as long as we don't really lock up the engine we'll be fine we do lock up the engine hopefully it'll shift us into neutral and we can just coast our way down because we are very close <coughs> let's not overshoot this turn Vehicles without ABS are my worst when it comes to driving, especially that turn. Because I lock the brakes up and go flying over the edge. Not what you want. You know, if we make it down with a functioning engine, that would be impressive. Because we've had a broken oil pan and radiator since pretty much the beginning. And I think we're going to make it down. Okay. Second attempt. Looking good. Also, I think we did end up losing our hubcap when I said we lost the hubcap because we don't have them all. We're knocking our engine. It's not good. I'm just revving it now. Broom. Oh, our torque is majorly just gone. Yeah, we have no torque left. <laughs> That's a shame. <coughs> but we did make it to the bottom. Now... Onto the leaderboard for episode number seven or eight. One of the two. All right, so now onto the leaderboard for this episode. In first place, we have the Dodge Ram TRX with a time of 245.2, .2, putting up an amazing showing. It was, it was very fast. Uh, coming up close after in fifth place is the Gavril Blue Buck Police Interceptor with a time of 3 minutes 11 seconds. And in 8th place is the Abishu Pessima Rally with a time of 316.9. And of course, to end off the video, we will send the last vehicle we did off the Stairway Mountain. This is why it's called Stairway Mountain, for those of you who haven't been watching, is because there's a stairway on the mountain. Alright. <coughs> Ooh. Big hit. Can we get a nice crisp hit on the back, too? Just a little tap. That's it. Oh. Ouch. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, this is going to be a big hit. If I, if you did, be sure to smash the like button, hit the red subscribe button, and the bell icon down below to get notified of when I upload. And until next time, this has been Dresden on BMG Drive with Downhill Madness, and goodbye.